Hello students of class 5. This is part 3 of chapter 5. In this class, we will be learning about reproduction in plants through vegetative parts. Reproduction in plants through vegetative parts. As we have learned that plant grows from the seeds through the process of germination, but there are some plants that grow from stem, leaves, roots, etc. Here, number one, growing plants from stems. Onion, potato, and ginger have small buds on their stem that grow into new plants. Money plant, sugarcane, rose, hibiscus grow into a new plant if a stem is cut. Then please turn to your book page number 57. You will get here the diagram. Here is the di diagram number one. A slant cut given on to the stem. Number two diagram. The cut stem is planted in the soil. And number three. After a few days, new leaves grow from the stem. Here, number two, growing plants from roots. Sweet potatoes, carrot, and turnip grow into new plants from their roots. Small buds appear on the roots of a sweet potato which grow into new plants. Here, number three, growing plants from leaves. These are some plants on which the buds grow from the edges of the leaves. These buds grow into new plants when they fall on the ground and find soil, water, and warmth. Examples of this type of plants are bryophyllum and begonia. Here comes number four, growing plants from spores. Some plants do not bear seeds and flowers. They reproduce through the spatial structures called spores. For example, ferns, mosses, and some fungi like mushroom. These spores fall on the ground and grow into new plants. Students, as we have completed Chapter 5, Plant Reproduction with today's class, I want you all to practice diagram of monocot seed and dicot seed from your book page number 54 and also labeling the diagram just as it is in the book. Students, please do visit the school website and take notes from this chapter. Study hard, take care, have a great day.